Okay, so this is going to be my short-term review on my new Honda lawnmower. Uh, model number is HRR2169VYA. Now, the HRR series is in Honda's mid-range lineup of residential mowers. Um, it has the 21-inch steel deck. It does have the twin blade cutting system, and it does work really well. Um, it's everything Honda makes it out to be. Cuts even, no stragglers, and I was definitely very impressed so far. Now, the HRR series was updated with this clip director, and what this is, is it's basically just a replacement to a removable mulch plug. Um, this lever controls a door inside the deck housing. It's either opened or closed, depending on the positioning. Um, so in the bag position, your door is going to be open, allowing you to bag, or with it removed, you can use it as a rear discharge. When you move the lever into the mulch position, the door shuts and locks, acting just as a removable mulch plug would. And like I said, it does mulch really, really well. Now, this model comes with the blade brake clutch. And what this is, it's a clutch that allows you to start and run the engine without having the blade engaged. So if you're cutting and you need to stop for whatever reason, you can release the bale and the blade will stop, but the engine will continue to run. Now, in combination with that, the smart drive also works as a transport. So if you have to move from one end of your property to another or load or unload, you can use the self-propelled feature without having the blade engaged. And for me, this was a really, really good selling point. Um, it's basically the reason why I bought this model. And uh, it's, it's worked really well so far. Now, the smart drive levers, it's, uh, it's a little bit different than using like a hydro walk behind because it is variable speed. But once you find your positioning, it works really well. Um, I have mine set up a little bit higher because... I feel that using the palms of your hands instead of using your thumbs gives you more of a fluid motion with the control. Um, that's just me. You may find a different position more comfortable and it does adjust into five different positions. So you just have to find one that's comfortable for you. Now, I think the only thing I can say bad about this is that the bag does fill up quickly. And I have read other reviews about people saying that it leaves a grass trail behind. Um, it will do that if your bag is full. And like I said, it fills up quick. But if you empty it frequently, you should have no problems. Um, so far, like I said, it's the only thing bad I can say about this. Now, I have about six and a half hours of runtime so far. Um, just changed the oil for the first time after break-in. And it starts first pull every time. The engine runs really smooth, it's quiet, and it has plenty of power. When I came home for the first time with this, I had to cut about 10 inches of grass after about a week of rain. Um, it powered right through it, no problem. It didn't bog down, and like I said, it just runs really smooth. The build quality of this machine is great. Um, it's comparable to uh, commercial units. And I do work for a commercial landscape company, have used tons of different machines from stand-ons to hydro walk-behinds and zero turns and just built really well. Um, I got this for $479 plus tax from my local dealer and I got an extra year added to the warranty. So from three years it went to four years because I bought it before a certain date and I have really good dealer support. So. Overall, I'm very impressed. Um, cut quality is great. Build quality is amazing. Just a great value for the quality. And if you're in the market for a new residential mower, this is definitely one to look into. <clears throat> um, my next video, I'm going to do a startup and the proper way to engage the blade um, and run the machine. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I'll respond promptly. Thanks.